Hello, Jason here from septictank.co.uk and this video is entitled how to do a percolation test. That's right, I'm going to show you, right, really simply how to do a percolation test. I'm also going to answer the following questions which are, why do you need a percolation test and how do you do it? Well, the following video is going to answer all these questions for you. So what is a percolation test? Well, a percolation test determines if the ground is suitable for a soak away or not. And that the wastewater that enters the soak away from the septic tank can drain away naturally into the soil. Now, some examples of soil with good percolation characteristics would be soil such as chalky soil, sandy soil or loamy soil. So how do you carry out a percolation test? Well, you need to first of all work out where you're going to install your septic tank. Then work out where the outlet pipe will be. Once you've done that, you then need to dig a hole 300 millimeters square to a depth of 300 millimeters below the level of the outlet pipe. Then fill the 300 millimeter square section of the hole to a depth of at least 300 millimeters of water and allow it to seep away overnight. Next day, refill the hole once again with water to a depth of at least 300 meters and then observe the time in seconds that it takes for the water to seep away from 75% full to 25% full. So that's roughly um, a fall of about 150 millimeters. So how do you calculate the percolation rate? It's really easy. You take the time it took in seconds for the water to fall 150 millimeters. Then you just divide this time by 150. And this result will give you a VP figure. So, for example, let's say it took 98 seconds for your water in the soak away hole to fall 150 mil. Then you just divide this time by 150 and that gives you a VP figure of 65 seconds, which is brilliant because a VP figure between 12 and 100 is ideal. For more information, just click the link below this video or visit septictank.co.uk for free help and advice.